But hospital beds continue to fill up, and Cleveland Clinic says they are caring for their highest number of COVID inpatients since last winter. Lydia Spara explains why. No one wanted the first wave of COVID, let alone a fourth. But it's here, and not all areas will see it, but all hospitals will feel the impact. Dr. Keith Armitage with University Hospitals. And that's where we're seeing places. So, you know, O'Leary Hospital and Portage Hospital that are near these, these less vaccinated populations are seeing cases, and, and proportionally, they're seeing many more cases than we're seeing downtown here at the main campus. Armitage is talking about Lorraine, Summit, and Trumbull counties. Out near Akron, Summa Health System is seeing an overload, too. They are now postponing some elective surgeries. Would you say that your beds are at high capacity? Is it mostly because of the non-vaccinated? The vast majority of our patients that are in the hospital for COVID are non-vaccinated. Mercy Health in Youngstown. But in the interesting, in the intensive care units and those on ventilators, we're near 100 percent of those who are in the intensive care unit on ventilators are unvaccinated. Three different locations, three different doctors, but all on the same page when it comes to COVID. This isn't September of 2020. This is September of 2021. We have a tool in our toolbox now. Uh, that tool is the vaccine. Folks are starting to utilize the emergency department for COVID testing. That is not where you want to go to get that clearance to get on the airplane or to get back into school. I think for, for people over 65 uh, and, and high-risk people, I think boosting is important. Lydia Spara, 3 News.